Now it's time to dig in to this terrific looking barbecue spread, uniquely American food. We're going to start with our Texas brisket. This took 10 hours, but it's going to be worth the wait. I'm going to take a slice and cut it off here. And we're going to put our brisket with potato salad and sauerkraut as a tribute to the many German immigrants that settled in the Texas Hill Country. Fabulous. Look at that coating. Beautiful. Then we're going to move over to our Carolina pork. The Boston butt, you can always tell when it's ready, when you can just easily detach the bone right out of there. That's perfectly ready to go. Look at that. Came right out. Then I'm going to just, you can either pull it like this or slice it a little bit. And I'm going to do a little bit mint style to go on our sandwich here. Let me just cut one more slice. Mince it up a little bit. This looks just like the one we saw in North Carolina. I'm even surprising myself how good it looks. I'm going to take a roll here, put some of our minced barbecue on it. All right, a little coleslaw, spicy Carolina coleslaw. All right, remember you've got to heap this high. This is a real manly meal. A little bit of the vinegar based sauce. And voila. Look at that sandwich. We're going to put those with the others. Beautiful. Everybody's going to love that. And none of that French wine or anything with uh, barbecue. Beer's the thing. Now let's move over here. We have our jerk tuna. I love mine rare, but you can cook it to any temperature your guests like. And I like to serve it with grilled vegetables. We have three colors of grilled bell peppers. We have Idaho potatoes and Vidalia onions. Just sprinkle a little bit of the rub, the same one that you use on the tuna, on the vegetables, coat them with a little oil and put them right in the grill or in the smoker with the tuna. Fantastic. And a, what a great looking presentation. And to make it authentic, we're going to serve it with Jamaican beans and rice, festival bread, which is basically fried dough, and fried plantains. Absolutely authentic and delicious. And here's really one of my favorites here, the bourbon glazed ribs. Fantastic. They take four or five hours, but well worth the wait. We're going to serve them with hush puppies and the traditional southern collard greens. Very good for you, by the way. And finally, our smoked turkey. Oh man, cooked to perfection. Delicious. It's just going to be a real treat, and you don't even have to wait till Thanksgiving. I hope you'll make some of these American classics. Within every bite of this barbecue is history, hundreds of years of it, history full of struggle and pride, triumph and tragedy. Now when we taste our traditions, we'll know just how they came to be. I'm Chef Jacques Herringer, taking a bite of history.